go, 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 yes. One time for that. One of the most important aspects in the Eastern uh, way of thinking, in martial art and yoga too, one of the vital, one of the very important subject is the actual uh, relationship between the master, the teacher, and the student, the disciple. Can you say something about that? Krav Maga is about controlling and overcoming the conflict. And first of all, the conflict is about you, inside you. Training for many years, uh, and all the time hearing, uh, do this, correct that, um, the basics of the relations between an instructor and a student, a teacher and a, and a disciple, um, this brings you to becoming a better person, this more fulfilled one, more uh, controlled one. Um, you know where the knowledge is coming from. You understand that really somebody has been giving you the knowledge, the, 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 the information. Somebody has been directing you. So even if you are a higher level, a higher grade, a few dance, uh, sometimes you even become better than your instructor. Uh, why? For a few reasons. First of all, he gave you, now he's getting older also. So physically, then of course, uh, eventually the student will be better than the instructor. Usually the, the students are younger, many years sometimes. Um, but exactly at this is the point that you are being tested and being um, checked. Are your ego is coming up, are your nose is uh, 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 becoming high, or you are he then you understand, hey, this will also come to me. He is getting old, I'll also get old. Um, still the, the value of uh, the knowledge and what you did with the knowledge and the experience and how he monitored you, the, the teacher, and how you went in his way, the way that he showed you, this, this should make you uh, understand that, hey, you're just a channel to your students. He's, he, the information is going through you to give to the students. And even if you develop th things and even if you contributed uh, 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 to the development of, of yourself and of your students, of the system even, uh, uh, still there is a foundation, there is a base that you are standing on that base. And the moment you don't forget this, then you are humble and then you are uh, acquiring uh, uh, capabilities and um, personal uh, qualities that it's very hard and very difficult to get, gain somewhere else. Im used to say that the Kav Maga instructor influences, especially the young people, a lot. Maybe more than anyone, any other figure in the young people's life. Uh, dealing with the controlled violence, dealing with the um, the uh, physical contact, with dealing with the danger, uh, directing, monitoring, uh, and doing it with care uh, brings you to the place that you have a influence on other people. What's nice between us that if I look at the history. At the year 1984, I had my first instructor course. It was under you. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> this was years ago. Definitely. More hair in many yeah. years. <laughs> I was about uh, then about 10 years in Kav Maga, one of the first instructor courses I gave. Um, Imi passed away about 14 years later. So I was with him something like 24 years as, oh, as, so as a student. Time. Yes. But my teacher in Kav Maga definitely passed away. Uh, I still took on, on, upon myself to stay a student, to become a student. And it is in two directions. One, first of all, uh, learning yoga. You teach me yoga. And in the, in the line of the teachers in that uh, 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 discipline. So from there, gaining uh, still the effect of being a student uh, and staying in the line of uh, being monitored and staying in the line of going in footsteps of other high-level people. 
This is one thing. The other thing in, in Hebrew, as we both know, there's a saying that uh, I learned from all my teachers, but mostly from my disciples. So learning from my own students uh, is definitely continuing. Not that I learn from them how to give a punch or how to give a kick, of course not, but learning from my students um, how to deal with people, for instance, how to monitor the students themselves. Sometimes a student does, uh, in, a, in a fighting, in a, in a confrontation, he does manage to, to uh, score a hit. Yes, Of course, it is in training. Uh, this will make me better the moment I'll be able to defend it. Uh, this makes me uh, uh, calculate, uh, change my, my uh, techniques, change my tactics, be better. So naturally the students are making me better. So in, in the line of Krav Maga, what is the actual role of the instructor? And what is the actual duty or role of a student? Instructor is a strong figure in the life of the students. Instructor need to set an example. By the example, he's setting the direction and the, he's a beacon for the students. So the first thing, of course, is setting an example. Be a personal example. What you say, you should do. An instructor who is setting the correct example, the high quality and high level, will bring the people with him to higher places, to higher abilities, becoming, as he used to say, very good citizens. Instructor has to have the responsibility, naturally the discretion. We are all dealing with Krav Maga. It's about life and death. So there is a huge responsibility here to get the best knowledge and to teach the best you can. People are using what you are giving them for self-development, but definitely they may use it for protecting themselves or protecting family in, the, in life, uh, in, in, I guess, violent confrontations. Naturally, those who are teaching military or police, it's a huge responsibility. Teach them exactly the best and the most efficient, proficient techniques, tactics, and methods. And naturally, professionalism. To have the best quality, as I said before. It reminds me once, Students used to, to ask me, what about all these imitators of Krav Maga that are popping up uh, here and there? How to fight them? What to do with them? I used to say, don't deal with them at all. Just do your best. That teach to the best quality, train, reach the highest levels. That's it. When once an instructor asked me this again, I just remembered a fable from Krylov. Krylov was a Russian, famous Russian storyteller. Um, and Krylov says like this, one day two souls reach hell. One was a criminal, a killer, the other one was a philosopher, a writer. Under the soul of the, of the Criminal, they put burning fire, inferno, very strong one. His soul was consumed in a few days. He was screaming and shouting, horrible. But then he's gone. Under the soul of the, of the writer and the philosopher, they put a small flame. One day, one week, one month, one year, one decade. Then it's beginning, it was nothing. But later, it was burning. It was uh, excruciating pains for him. And he was crying to the chief witch there and asking why the killer and the criminal uh, uh, suffered so short time. He is gone and I'm still for decades. I'm suffering. She told him, your poison is still down there in earth, still poisoning people. And that's why you deserve this punishment. I think it's a clear allegory, this fable, that you should not spread poison. You should get the real knowledge for the benefit of giving it to others. This is the power, gaining the power in order to assist others, not to assist yourself. If assisting yourself is a byproduct, then it's definitely okay. If your bank account is good, it's a tap on the back. 
But if that is the goal, the, the, the position of yourself, positioning yourself among uh, other people, or uh, increasing the sums in your bank account, that is bad. One should, and we're talking about life and death, and we're talking about real valuable knowledge, one should search for the knowledge and give it to the people. The student, the practitioner, the disciple, should invest time and effort in training. Doing, as we said before, about doing, not talking. So to get the results, one has to train. One has to invest in effort. One has to come on a regular, uh, uh, and weekly or a daily basis to the training place. One should focus, think about the things, and it's concerning whatever path you take in life. Krav Maga, among others. So first of all, to invest and to work and to train. Second, the, the students should be focused. Focused on what? Focused on the doing. Not focused on the end result. If your one eye is on the end result, there's only one eye left to do the, the actual job and to do your, your duties. So focus on doing all the time what the instructor is telling. Because the moment you are doing this, you're getting better. You are gaining the qualities, you're gaining the abilities and the uh, uh, capabilities. So focusing on doing the correct thing as the way is directing you, as the instructor is directing you, that's the way you're going. The student should try and excel, meaning in control especially. Controlling yourself, controlling the opponent, the, the trainee, the other one that you're training with, and controlling the situation. There's a saying that if you know yourself and you know the enemy, you'll win one hundred fight out of hundred. You know yourself, you don't know the enemy, you win only fifty. You don't know yourself, you don't know the enemy, you win no, none. So the idea is to be able to know yourself, to control yourself from this is the first thing. Then understanding the other side. Like this, you will be able to control the other side. You, like this, you'll be able to control the situation by investing, focusing, and excelling, training, getting better, do the hard work, you know yourself better. By knowing yourself, you control your emotions, your destructive feelings, your actions. Knowing yourself, you're in control. Controlling yourself it's the foundation to controlling the situation, to performing the best level you can, to winning the situation, to winning the confrontation. And not necessarily it's a violent confrontation. It's whatever, I mean, on a daily basis, we have a huge number of confrontations. To be a KMG warrior is much more than just fighting, punching, kicking, interacting in violent confrontations. Follow the code of ethics. I hope that you will never need to use the knowledge that we are giving you. I wish that this journey in Krav Maga will take you to higher places, that you will excel, that you will grow, that you will prevail, that you will get better. All the best.